hello, hello, Emmanuel. Thanks to Diego. Hello, Diego. Nice to have you here in Milan. Uh, to start our interview, can you tell me a little bit about the Riva Group and what is your role in the market, please? Yes. Um, Riva is an asset manager based in uh, Luxembourg uh, that has developed a number of uh, platforms uh, from Germany to Portugal, predominantly in the residential and mixed use sector. Nice. And uh, when we today we heard about the interest rate, inflation, worse, uh, what is your view on the market, especially of the Italian real estate market? I think that uh, there is a combination of two factors that are very significant in the residential sector, which is the sector I'm more involved in, which is, uh, first of all, the increase in construction costs uh, between 30 and 40%. And secondly, the increase in interest rates. The combination of these two factors has made it very difficult for mid-market developers to build and exit at the same price as they were selling at before, because clearly the you know families can no longer afford to buy apartments at high prices uh, because the interest rates mean that you know they need to put higher deposits and they need to pay uh, higher monthly payments. So this, I believe, has slowed down and will increasingly slow down uh, the mid-market developers. Uh, it doesn't mean that the market will disappear because the supply-demand gap. Uh, across Europe and in Italy is still very strong. Uh, it just means that the market, the approach, the approach of investors towards this market needs to change. Today we heard a lot about different asset classes, right? Uh, what is your bet for the next two years? Italy is a is a very interesting investment opportunity. If you focus on hotels. Uh, I think the ADRs are going up. Italy is ready for disruption because a lot of the existing hotels are old uh, and they don't really reflect the international standards. So there is definitely an opportunity for uh, you know international and local groups to um, make the hotel sector more efficient. Um, and not only in primary cities, but also in secondary locations uh, that suffer from a lack of quality hotels. Uh, I believe that the, the multifamily sector, as I was saying, in residential, I think rental will become more important. Uh, Italy is uh, traditionally a country in which people own their houses, but given the current price level uh, and uh, lack of supply, uh, it will be probably, um, it's reasonable to assume that more people will start renting. And I think that uh, Italy is one of the few countries that doesn't have a uh, sort of multifamily market like, you know, Germany, the UK, uh, you know, other European countries. So I believe there is an opportunity to build uh, significant multifamily portfolios, especially new build. Uh, and then there are definitely opportunities in other sectors, such as uh, retail, logistics, uh, but I know less about that, so I would not uh, want to comment in sectors that are not my own. Well, as you were active in many countries, sorry. How will you see the Italian market itself? I think that um, uh, Italy has suffered less than Northern Europe because the Italian banking sector uh, was more cautious uh, because of the last crisis. The last crisis hit Italy very, very hard. And as a result of that, the banking sector has been more cautious. The leverages were lower. Um, and so as a result, we are unlikely to have uh, a serious prices. Uh, there are other countries where, you know, like Germany, for example, which are very leveraged, Sweden, where, you know, there, were, there was a significant repricing as a result of excessive leverage. Um, and so, and, and very low yields. So institutionals were buying at 2%, 2.5%. And clearly with the current level of interest rates, uh, you know, this, you know, what they acquired at this level is they are not sustainable. So there's going to need to be, um, you know, a significant repricing. In Italy, this hasn't happened. Uh, I still think there are opportunities because there are non-performing, uh, you know, assets that will need to be put back on the market. So uh, there are a lot of um, there are a lot of investors that are focused on uh, value-add capital, so mid-teens to high-teens. Uh, I think it's very difficult to find deals 
with that kind of returns right now, with the current market situation, it may be that in the next couple of years, uh, there'll be a little bit more distress, but I do not foresee uh, a crash. And as I was saying, I believe that uh, Italy still has a lot of uh, interesting investment sectors that are not necessarily driven by, dis driven by distress, but by opportunity. So I think it's a, it's a, good, in it's a good investment market, if, especially if you compare it to Northern Europe at the moment, uh, unless, of course, Northern Europe suffers from a very significant correction that creates value add opportunities for funds. Yeah. And uh, to finalize, how does GRI Club add value to River and to yourself? Uh, the GRI Club is a very uh, useful uh, opportunity to meet uh, my peers, to exchange ideas in a safe environment. And uh, I find it very useful to understand where the market is going and uh, meet uh, like minded people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Diego.